the conceptual part of BJT analysis has been covered uh, as part 4 of BJT circuits. Video solutions to the related uh, gate problems is being uploaded now. Problems with the diverse coverage are taken here. They are arranged in the chronological order of the year they appeared in gate examination. Five problems uh, of the year 2010, 2009, 2008, 2007 and 1988 are identified for BD solutions. So we we'll start with the first problem in this series. The first problem is uh, of gate 2010. It's a common data type and uh, and it's of 4 marks and uh, it's uh, basically on the BJT analysis. We'll read out the problem here. Consider the common emitter amplifier shown below with the following circuit parameters. The parameters are beta is given 100 gm, r0, r pi, rs, rb, rc, rl, c1 and c2. These values are given and the corresponding common emitter circuit also drawn here. First you have to determine the resistance seen by the source Vs is there are four options here. We have to find that uh, what is the resistance seen by the source and the second is the lowest cutoff frequency due to the C2. There is a coupling capacitor C2 here and uh, what is the lowest cutoff frequency due to this coupling capacitor. This is the second part which you have to find. So what we observe here is uh, that the uh, uh, corresponding common emitter amplifier diagram is given. Most of the parameters have been uh, given here for the transistor and the related circuit. And uh, the first part is we have to determine the resistance seen by the source Vs. Now, first we draw the corresponding uh, hybrid equivalent for the given amplifier. Hybrid equivalent, that means this is the corresponding hybrid equivalent of the amplifier. Uh, that means uh, the transistor is replaced by HIE, uh, beta IB, and uh, the other uh, circuit components have been equivalently placed here. And uh, what we have to find here is the uh, input uh, resistance seen by the source. This is the corresponding source and we have to find the input resistance seen by this source. Basically the transfer input uh, resistance would be uh, different but here uh, the resistance seen by the VS, the source would also involve the source internal resistance as well as the biasing circuit uh, components. So this is this resistance is basically the resistance of the amplifier stage. So this resistance can be written as R in as R S the source resistance in parallel with R B the corresponding bias resistance in parallel with H I. So this is the value for the R N the input resistance. Now we have to determine here RS is known, RB is known, HIE we can determine from uh, the corresponding uh, the value for R pi is given. R pi uh, there is a corresponding relation uh, where you uh, compare the hybrid parameters with the R pi parameters the equivalence comes as HIE is equivalent to R pi and HFE is uh, equals to beta. So the value of R pi is uh, given. This value is substituted here. This comes 259 ohms. So HI is also 259 ohms. The value for HI can also be determined uh, from the uh, value of GM which is given. Here HI is beta RE dash beta into VT over IE where VT is the uh, thermal voltage, i.e. the emitter current 
and this vt over i is 1 over gm so beta over gm the value for gm is given so this also comes to 259 ohms so you can determine the value for hi either way and the value of hi is known you can determine the value for rn the value for rn is the source resistance rs 1 kilo ohms 1000 this is uh, 93,93k in parallel with 259 ohms this means the value 1000 plus 258 so the value comes to be 1258 so 1258 that means the option B is the right choice here for the input resistance now the second part we have to find the uh, lowest uh, cutoff frequency uh, due to C2 C2 corresponding the this uh, coupling capacitor here C2 this is C2 is the coupling capacitor here we have to find what is the corresponding cutoff due to this output coupling capacitor so what we observe here is that uh, the value of C2 is known so uh, the cutoff frequency is given by 1 over 2 pi RC plus RL into C2 we know the value 2 pi RC, RC value is known RL is also known 1K and this is the value for the capacitance substitute and uh, calculate you will get 27.1 Hertz is the cutoff frequency this is the lower cutoff frequency for this uh, amplifier so the option B is the correct choice here for the cutoff frequency for this circuit